Hello, I'm Mr. Gigabytes and this is Gigabytes Technology. Today, we're going to install the Vice Emulator on Linux. Now, th this sounds like a, a pretty uh, simple thing to do, but because of uh, certain copyrights in certain countries and the way things are done, um, it's not a real straightforward process. But we're going to make it straightforward with this video. So first thing you're going to want to do is open up your your app installer. In my case, it's Apper, or you can there's uh, you can use Discover or AppGrid or uh, there there's any number of them that that you can use. And uh, you'll want to install Vice. Now I've already done that, so we we can just go ahead and skip over that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to viceemu.sourceforge.net and we're going to download vice and we're just going you can do uh, either the uh, GTK vice 3.3 or the MS DOS version uh, either of those uh, those binary packages will be fine and of course I've already got that I've got that downloaded depending on where you downloaded it to it should just go to your home folder and downloads and sure enough there it is so we're gonna wanna unzip this and this is compressed with uh, with 7-zip but uh, in our case in Linux a common program to use is simply ARC and it's a simple matter of just taking this folder and dragging it over to uh, over to the window here and extracting it, which we've already done. So let's go ahead and go into this folder, and you'll see all these the C64, C64 D TV, C128, etc., etc., etc. We're going to want to copy those folders. And let's go ahead and do a split view here. And we're going to navigate to the root folder user lib and vice, which is right there. Now you'll see some of the same folders here c64, c64 dtv, etc., etc., etc. The what we're what we want is are are the folders here now i'm going to show you why so let's go ahead and open up the c64 folder on my installation and we've got a bunch of uh different files they do different things doesn't really matter let's open up the c64 folder on the archive that we extracted and you'll see there's just a few more uh, a few more files here so for example this is the basic ROM uh, the main kernel ROM so there's all kinds of different uh, um, different ROMs here that we don't have so what we're gonna want to do let's go back here and go up so I'm gonna just go ahead and copy these folders here I'm gonna copy the drives folder we don't care about the GUI, HTML, Live, any of that. Um, PET, plus four, printer, SCPU64, and the VIC20. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is we want to copy these into this folder. So let's click Copy. And we're not going to be able to drag these across because 
uh, this the permissions in the in this folder need to be changed so we're gonna go to actions open terminal here sudo dolphin which is our browser enter the uh, admin password and I entered it wrong there we go and now we have a new window so we'll just go to root user lib and we'll go to vice again and we will paste those folders we're going to go apply to all and write into and apply to all and overwrite and there we have it now we can close this window close this window if we go back into the this folder and compare them we should have all the same uh, essentially all the same uh, kernel ROMs and whatnot. It looks like we have a few extra VKM files that the uh, Win32 Vice did not have. But it doesn't matter. It's it's fine. So we're going to go to where we installed them. And I've got them installed under Games and Commodore 64. So let's open up the Commodore 64. And there we have it. There is Vice in Linux. And that's all there is to it. So, thank you for watching.